Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello halal family Welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful uh, day In today's video we'll be reacting to Epic Indonesian food tour in uh, New York This video was suggested by Heriki88 and 1571 Yeah on Instagram Thank you very much guys for taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestion Stay tuned guys We'll be right back with the video Welcome back guys, inshallah we're gonna get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end. With that said, we're gonna get started with our video. David, what can you this? tell what this is? It is the Stingray, oh! aka the Skate Wing. Who would have thought you could get this at a restaurant here? Let's make that a thing, El Indonesia, let's make that a thing. All right, so before we continue with that video, I gotta let you know that today, November 9th at 5 p.m. Pacific, we are going to be on the Yami Bai YouTube channel doing a two hour crazy long snackathon giveaway. And if you guys know about yamibai.com, that is the premier online destination to get Asian snacks and Asian products, which means that you guys are gonna have the opportunity to win a year's worth of free Asian snacks, Whoa. Asian kitchen appliances. We're gonna be doing instant discounts and all you need to do is get registered for an account at yamibai.com, super easy. Super easy, today, November 9th, 5 p.m. Pacific, on the Yammy Bai YouTube channel. All the links are down below. See you there. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a very, 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 very special episode of Fun Bros Food, and we are about to go on a crazy Indonesian food crawl. Do you know what I love about Queens is that Queens just got crowned in 2019 as the most diverse big county in America, and we're in Elmhurst, and Elmhurst is one of the most diverse neighborhoods in Queens, so that makes it maybe the most diverse neighborhood in America. And you know we could not do an Indo food crawl without an authentic Indo friend. Oliver, you host some TV shows in Bahasa, so let him know. Hello, apa kabar semua? Nama saya Oliver Pras dari Queens, New York, tapi uh, darahnya Indonesia. Mama dari Manado, Bapak dari Jogja. Dan juga saya TV host di Indonesia. Oliver, what are we gonna be doing today, man? All right, so we're gonna be checking out some authentic Indonesian restaurants here in Queens, New York. We're actually in front of Awan Kitchen, one of my favorite spots here. It's one of the top rated Indonesian restaurants in New York City. And I heard it's relatively new. New, like a couple it, it years, is, right? actually. Yes, yeah. so we're actually getting a nice sneak peek. Ayo, Ayo kita makan. makan. Let's go. Plates are coming in, guys. This is a tempeh mandoan, basically from the soybean, and you can use the with the sauce. It's the sweet sauce and the chili chop. Origin added from Indonesia. Indonesia basically is like the it's the traditional food. Okay, like pan Indonesia, like yeah. not just like one region. This is a gul sate. It's a we call sate kambing Indonesia. This is traditional from the West Java. We're gonna pour it with the sauce, with the ketchup and uh, berkili and tomato and then uh, some shallots. And this one, egg poyong from Indonesia. This one inside the egg crab and sweet with the pour the sauce with the tomato sauce. This is of the Chinese diaspora right yeah. here. Wow. And this one is the nasi goreng kambing. This is uh, usually in the street food, you can find it. And this one is the pompano with the honey sauce. This one is uh, from the Jimbaran. Normally you find it in, Jabat, in Bali. Bali, okay, more south, right? This is called uh, rujak juhi. Uh, basically, this one is noodle with lettuce, cucumber, and tofu with the peanut sauce with dry cream. This one, this one, you, you cannot find anywhere. This is nasi bungkus with the ayam go, ayam bakar. This one, uh, tut iga bakar, a uh, beef shot trip. Salamat makan! We are at Awang Kitchen here in Elmer's Queens. We're looking at goat satay. Oh, this is a street food. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yo, let's go in on Dude, this. let's do this. Do I skewer one of the rice cakes? Or? Go for it, why not? Be creative. Goat satay. Mm. With a little bit of tomato and onion, that is fire. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are probably watching right now like goat saute. I'm more like in the chicken saute, right? I like it, that goat's not gamey at all. Mm -hmm. It's tender. Perfect. All right, our second dish is Oliver. This is fermented soybeans. Have you ever had this? Actually, between the goat saute and this fried fermented soybean square, these are two Indonesian dishes I've never had before in my life. Yeah, so it's actually one of my life goals to kind of introduce Indonesian culture, cuisine, food, entertainment, dance to the American consciousness. I definitely agree. I mean, it's top four in population in the entire world, but it's a it's a quiet four. Don't sleep on Indonesia. That's case in point. Let's go. Yes. Tempe manduan. This is a fried soybean patty, right? Wow, if you look inside, so it's fried on the outside, it actually has batter, and then on the inside, it almost looks like a vegetarian meat. Wow. Whoa. To be honest, I'm actually not a fan of traditional tempeh as an Indonesian. 
<laughs> this is actually fantastic. It's a nice spin. I had no idea that it was gonna taste like this. Bro, uh, how do you describe it? It's almost like a taro. Like I would say, like a vegetarian meat, yeah, but it's exactly. really good. I love that outside batter. No disrespect to Manhattan, but you're not gonna find anything <laughs> more authentic in terms of Indonesian food than here in Queens, New York. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I think definitely as far as Indo food, because we lived in the 626 for a while, I think Elmhurst got it beat already. Oh, look at as that. far as the nice. depth. So we got nasi goreng kambing, which translates to fried rice with goat. See, I got a grilled pompano here. This is like a popular fish that I feel like they also eat in Indonesia and the Philippines. And uh, it's got grilled with this honey sauce right here. This is looking crazy. Is it interesting that grilled pompanos kind of look like the emoji fish? <laughs> it does. Yeah. Yo, Bro, you gotta try it with the sambal, man. Indonesian sambal is no joke. Last but not least, you guys, we've got a very special type of rojak here. So this rojak uju, he has squid. It's got egg noodles underneath. It's got lettuce. It's a whole mixture of awesomely yo, good so noodles. Yo, that's just wow. It's different. Yeah. It's different. Wow, let's mix it up. I'm gonna go in on the nasi goreng. Let's split it up. We'll just do it. Nasi, nasi goreng. goreng. I mean, mine on chip. Mm. It tastes different. Wow. It's different than the beef. You taste the, mm. the tenderness of the goat. It's so smooth. When goat is done well, it's wildly, wildly underrated. I want great job. <laughs> It was good. What can you tell us about the uh, pampano fish? Uh, it's a fish that's uh, common to many Southeast Asian countries. It's a cuisine that is incredibly popular. It's Indonesia is very well known for the spices, the amount of spices they have. It's actually one of the nicknames is the Spice Islands. Pampano fish. Pampano. Mmm. Mm. Yo. You guys want to try eating like Indonesian? With your hands? With the hands? <laughs> Man, I'm... Let's do it! If you want to go wash your hands right now, I'm down to go wash my hands. I'm down to eat this fish with my hands. Let's eat the rest of the meal with our hands. You don't eat with your left hand. <laughs> eat with your I'm right hand. <laughs> uh, guys, all right. You Three finger technique. Is, yeah. Can I eat this oh, yeah, Go for it, man. Mm. Right. Take some of this sambal, this crazy spicy sambal right there. Mm -hmm. With the hands, it hits different. Yep. It hits different. Mm-hmm. Rojak juhi. It is a rojak, but with juhi. Mm. I like this rojak a lot. The Yo, rojak that is juhi. My favorite mm. rojak I've ever had. And I'm, whoa, that, that's quite the statement. Because it has so many different flavors in it. Ooh, and, yes. and, and sometimes the, the sauce on rojak is so strong, mm. it's overpowering. But I thought this one's a little bit more mild, so it fit my personal Your taste. Oh, we got potatoes too. Nice. I love Indo coffee. Yep. Yeah. Fun fact. The most expensive cup of coffee in the world comes from Indonesia. Indonesian coffee. Kopi. Our next dish here is the Fu Yung Hai, AKA the Indonesian Chinese Egg Fu Yang. Dude, this is my very first time trying wow. this. Wow. <laughs> mm. So as you can see, it's like a uh, egg crepe kind of stacked with vegetables and other mm. things with the sauce on top. I'm an egg crepe guy. Mm. I eat lots of egg crepes, that's mm. good. Like I think there's a connotation in America about egg foo young. Mm. People generally don't eat it, but here obviously, you know, this is part of the Chinese diaspora that's been in uh, Indonesia for a while. Moving on. This is me, I am Kang Kung. You can see the noodles with water spinach. In Indonesian, we call it Kang Kung. Mm. Oh, this is really good. So that was really good. Oh, man. My top two is the me, I am Kang Kung. Yo, that one that's, fire. That's, uh, that one. Oh. That one and the nasi goreng, because nasi goreng is just classic. Yeah, yeah the it. nasi goreng with the yeah. goat, right? Oh, the yeah. goat goreng. Ooh. I love the pompano fish. Yeah, I with the honey. I'm, I'm, I'm going with the pompano. This is iga bakar. This yeah. is a short ribs with some beef broth. That looks amazing. So soup and short ribs, yeah. that is a meal on Yo, I've never seen that. Ooh. Yeah, you got to try it, bro. Iga bakar, beef, beef short, short ribs. ribs. Mm. Right off the bone. Mm. This grill flavor, mm -hmm. smokiness is crazy. It's so soft and tender. Mm. That's a beef soup. That's just a quick beef broth that you can use as a supplement to the beef ribs. The celery mm -hmm. and the uh, carrots in there. Mm -hmm. Taste it, bro. Guys, I'm about to unravel the nasi bunkus. Oh my gosh, look at that. So this is their like to-go box. This is their like Chinese takeout box. I, I guess so. <laughs> Rice <Yeah>. togo. <laughs> yeah, I do prefer to substitute the chicken with what's called rendang. Oh, beef yeah. rendang. Beef yeah, rendang. the yeah. beef curry. Another good one. All right, guys, just dive in. Let's get, let's get a couple bites, man. Is that a co coconut? Is that coconut meat? Nasi bunkus is like the Indonesian bibimbap, where you just put all the side dishes in together, you mix it up, and it's just delicious. Jack For me, yeah. it was the jackfruit. Like jack yeah. And a lot of people actually use jackfruit as a meat substitute protein. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's a green sambal? If you get a chance, get the green sambal here at a Wong Kitchen. All right, you guys, by no means are we done. No, we're going to Indo Java, which is right across the boulevard. It's an Indonesian bodega. You guys want to know more? Check us out only on Fung Bros YouTube. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, guys, continuing on our trip to Indonesia here in Queens on Queens Boulevard. Right now, we're here in front of Indo Java, one of the most famous and few Indonesian bodegas, the only places you can actually find Indonesian spices, Indonesian ingredients. And they even serve hot food, but we just missed it today. So this place is actually home to Warung Selasa and Warung Kamis, which means Warung, which is like a, a small place you eat, Selasa means Tuesday and Kamis means Thursday. They only make enough for a certain amount of portions. All right, so Tuesdays and Thursdays here are particularly lit. Let's head in and check it out. Indo Java. Let's go. Let's go in. Hello. 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 So this is Elfie. She's the owner of Indo Java. How you doing? Good. Everything how good? Are you? How, how long have you had the store here in Queens? Actually, we are in here. It's like 12 years. Broadway is three years. It's total is 15 years. What do like Indonesians from Indonesia when they come here? Do they say, oh, it just feels just like Jakarta or something? Yeah, they feel like at home. If they homesick, they come here and then they feel very happy. Yeah. Let's get some sambal. Check it out. Okay. Check it out, check it out. We're definitely picking this up. Yes. Okay. We gotta get this too. Gotta get the nail chips. But it's spicy. Okay. Right. This one is martabak. Martabak oh. is like 10 cake. Inside there is a like uh, peanut, um, chocolate? cheese, and chocolate. Oh it's my god! Oh, definitely get that. Will yeah. put you to sleep yep. for sure. Yep. Yep. Try okay. also this one tofu inside this vegetable. Okay. It's All right. Very good. I'll get that. I've never yeah, had yeah, that. Yeah. That looks interesting. <laughs> Also in Indo Java, they have pre-made foods that are already pre-cooked and all you gotta do is just microwave them or heat them up right here. Oh, look at this, we just had this. Chitato, yeah, I do have it, yeah. Oh, the chitato mizo. Ah, it's very good. Every Tuesday and every Thursday, the menu changes, right? Always change, yeah. yes. Makasi. Yeah. Yo, I gotta tell you this. The Indonesian language sounds cool. And you got uh, two cool things. I oh, mean, I got the martabak and then the ramayana. Whoa! Whoa. That's like an egg roll. It's like a but it's a egg roll, but in fried tofu, right? It's a fried tofu egg roll is ball. It is it kind of like the Indonesian pizza pocket? More or less. I mean, I wasn't expecting that many things. Like, there's like a lot of things going on. In it's there. not an egg roll. It's an egg ball. <laughs> you guys, I got the chitato mi goreng flavored one. Does it taste like Indomie mi goreng? Actually, let me try. Cause it's been a while for me. I done. Indomie mi mm. goreng. This tastes just like the authentic instant noodle mi goreng. Jagang bakar Cheetos. This is a Indonesian roasted bakar corn Cheeto. <laughs> oh, whoa, Woo. the corn flavor came in at corn about a back, 10. Guys. This is my first time trying it. Andrew, in LA, all our favorite Indo spots, they're always sold out of this. This is a tranquilizer dart in a cake yep. form. Oh, I'm excited, dude. Martabak. No, it's like a sponge cake. That's not a Western cake. I need to go to the gym. <laughs> I think that this is the most underrated dessert in the world. Mm -hmm. Martabak wins in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I love it. The Martabak is a 10 out of 10. Don't 10. turn your back on the Martabak. We're continuing our journey in Elmhurst. Where'd you take us? So we're here in the heart of Elmhurst, right? We're here on Whitney Avenue. There's a two Indonesian restaurants here in Elmhurst that are literally side by side. Sky Cafe <laughs> and Asian Taste 86. Yes, yes. All right, you guys, we ordered from Sky Cafe, multi-regional Pan-Indonesian. We're gonna go head over to Asian Taste, which is Javanese. Ending Elm our Elmdonesia crawl on Whitney Ave. Let's go. Here we have the Mi Complete. Mi Complete. I'm not gonna lie, this is my <laughs> favorite dish. The Mi Complete from Sky Cafe. Mmm, that's good. Such a simple dish, but so tasty. I love the texture of the noodles. Mm-hmm. Uh, nobody's going for the beef bowl? This is the Nasi Bunkus, but with rendang right here. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. look at that. Look how deep that rendang is. Look at that beef. Large pieces of jackfruit. That's percadel. Percadel, mm -hmm. and then you got your egg right here. I'm just yeah. gonna chop it all up. Nasi, Nasi bungus run down. Been waiting for this. Mm. I mean, it tastes better with your hands, wow. but. Beef rendang, to me, I think, is the root of that very deep, like, Malaysian curry as well, mm -hmm. where it's just like, it's super, super spicy, but not in a hot way. Yes, very, very enjoyable. Give you something fresh and something different, but not to overpower you, you mm. know what I mean? Last but not least from Sky Cafe, we have salt buntut or oxtail soup. Put some lime in there. Yeah, yeah, squeeze yeah. the lime. Squeeze the lime in it. Salt buntut, oxtail Indonesian soup. 
Mm, really herbal. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a healthier variant. Like the broth isn't too thick. They don't put too many different spices on it. I think it's quite pleasant. Yeah, it looks like a really light soup, but it actually has tons of herbs and spices mm -hmm. in there. A lot of like um, star anise. You know, the Asian spices, to be honest. Mm, it's good. Right. We got to move on to our Asian taste round. So right here in front of me, we have smashed chicken, or also known as ayam penyet, right? You got some tofu in there. You got your sambal terasi. We have uh, sambal ijo. So two different kinds of sambals uh, for variety. Variety. Indonesians, they peel off the chicken. I'm sure other Asian countries, they peel off and then they bring it to their mouth. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Ayam penyet. Ayam means chicken. Penyet means smashed. Hey. Mmm. Mm. Smashed chicken is great because when they smash it while they're cooking it, it kind of like tears the meat apart, so yes. it's easier to get it off it the bones. It is, it is, it is. Yeah. Yes. I could eat that every day. <laughs> You try the tofu with the sambal. Yo, what I love most is look at this chicken skin oh, right here. There's yeah. almost no batter on it at all. I'm gonna tear it apart and just bite it like this. I'm gonna take a piece of that too. Incredibly authentic, man. We also have soto batawi, right? So check this out. This is an Indonesian uh, soup, right? You got some beef in there. It's cooked with coconut milk, it's tomatoes, potatoes, all that good stuff with some krupuk chips and rice. Soto, soto batawi, batawi, coconut beef. That thing has been simmering in that coconut milk for like ever. Mm, yeah. mm -hmm. right. And you'll also notice that uh, Malaysian food is actually quite similar to Indonesian food. Not that spicy. Mm. Very easy to eat. Mm -hmm. David, what can you this? tell what this is? It is the Stingray, oh! aka the Skate Wing. Who would have thought you could get this at a restaurant here? Uh, Oliver, you said you didn't even have it before. Yo, to be honest, I've never had Stingray in my entire life. I didn't even know this was on the menu. Bro, you know? bro. And I've been coming here for a long time. The Stingray was just so authentic. I mean, I just had to get it. Oh my gosh. Is that Whoa. bone? Maybe get a little lime, of course. Potty, Stingray. Wow. Whoa. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. That's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, that's some of the better stingray I've ever had. Mm. The way they barbecued that top, it was super crispy and like almost I forgot that I'm eating stingray. Mm. Best and only stingray I've ever had. Hey man, that's Fun Girls food for you. But I gotta give a special shout out to Asian Taste for letting us film here for me. This is the only time I've really enjoyed stingray and I've had it like maybe four times. I think I'll just go with the smashed chicken on this one. Where you going with, Oliver? For Asian Taste, it's, this is tough because like you, it's between the party and the I am Pinyet, but I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna go with the body. Just ah. <laughs> this is my first time ever trying it. And I was not only pleasantly surprised, I was, well, I'm thankful to these guys because they're introducing me to food from my own culture that I've never had before. No, so. I'm not introducing it to you. I'm just uh, going out there and ordering. Give me the stuff I can't get anywhere else. Yeah. All right, you guys, we are wrapping up our crawl, our journey through Elmdonesia, Elmhurst, Queens, Indonesian crawl, yo. Shout that, out to man. you, Oliver, man. Thank you, thank you, bro. Oh my goodness, what are we looking at, bro? I got my, uh, I got my uh, iced That's jelly. The That's the letter. This is one of my favorite Asian desserts. This black pudding with coconut milk. It honestly tastes like a sweet rice oatmeal. I love this. Yo, I like this a lot. When you really sink your teeth into the enclaves out here, that's what I love about Elmhurst, and I'm so glad we got to check out uh, Elmdonesia with Elm you, man. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Just the fact that you guys enjoy Indonesian food makes me so happy as an Indonesian American since we're, over, we're oftentimes overlooked because I just don't think there are enough of us here in America. We got a long way to go and I'm hoping to be a part of that big reason why a lot of people going forward know exactly where Indonesia is on a map. And also when you think of Indonesia, I want you to be thinking of this guy, Oliver Pross, TV host extraordinaire. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver, you got a big mission? Thank you. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that culinary journey through Elmhurst, Queens, AKA Elmdonesia. Who shout out to Oliver Pross. Check out his info right here. Here at Instagram, please let us know in the comment section below what was your favorite dish? What's an Indonesian dish that we did not get to cover that we need to try out? Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. We are on Whitney Ave in the heart of Elmhurst, Queens right now. And until next time, we Oh wow. You know it's nice to watch this video, but it's just 
tough because the food looks so delicious but we don't have any options here to try it like we have that um indonesian food truck but they just have uh, like basically the the rice the chicken satay and uh, then they have like a uh, wrap and tempeh and that's that's about it and then just a couple of different drinks so it's tough because they don't have the sweet mar martabak um they don't have these barbecue be, uh, they don't have the barbecue fish and the stingray and and all these other dishes that they were showing um it's even like hard to find nasi goreng you know <laughs> like we actually had to make it at home uh but inshallah khair, hopefully you know down the road we can get some indonesian uh, restaurants with different uh, food items and unique uh, dishes to be awesome to try it out i heard recently that there's going to be like a market that's going to be opening up so we're going to be inshallah checking that out and then i hope that similar to the store that they went there where they make the food and you can buy pre-made ones that would be awesome if they have even something like that if it's not a restaurant so um looking forward to that can't wait they're saying inshallah maybe in, in late november to early december so i'll keep you guys posted thank you very much guys for suggesting this uh, video you know it made me hungry every time i watch these uh, videos but inshallah i just need to learn how to make these dishes since we don't have anything around here and i hope you guys enjoyed it too if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you'd like me to react to another video please put in the comment section below as always guys thank you very much for all your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. What's it?